Let me see how many people remember this game just by this next blurb that's going to come up right after this, I believe. Oh. Oh god. This was a good game. Let me tell you something about it though. Hard as shit. <laughs> not 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 everything, but just trying to get that double S license. Screw that. I don't think I have that much. We'll try to see though. Y'all remember this? This was my car right here. I like that lightly tuned Lotus Elise. Y'all know about this? Okay, okay, let's not let's not embarrass ourselves here. Let's put it on easy. I want to look cool for you guys. I don't want to be a punk. Oh god, the graphics hurt my eyes. <laughs> oh god, I don't know how to switch out of first person. There we go. That ain't gonna stop you, boy. Oh, your boy revenue. Sega GT 2000 was all about precision. It was about you being, it was like a car simulator and it was, it was okay to a certain point, but it was about you being able to drive. Taking that inside curve, you know what I'm saying? Uh, bump him. Bump you! I'm out the door, player. I can't believe this. 2002. So that means this game right here, from the time I'm playing it, 13 years old. Oh man, I feel old. I love this game though. On the old Xbox, I completed it and I had like a good majority of the cars, at least the ones I like. I was getting used to playing like all parts of it too. Like I loved playing the... Uh, it was the snow um, level. It was like you drive. Basically, it was like a good half hour of real time where you were driving in the snow, slipping and sliding. You'd go all the way up to the top of course, loop back, and drive back. That was the most pro course you could do. This game was also cool too because you could play your own music too. Oh man, this brought back so much memory. Especially when you remember um, you had the original Xbox which had like a zillion gigs of space. So you never had to worry about buying a new hard drive. <clears throat> Xbox One's bullshit.
Oh shit. Okay. Thought I was gonna hit that. That's what she said. Or he. Your boy won this. This was so messed up too, because this was before they actually decided to time everybody out. So if there was a car that was really behind, you had to wait for him. That's why they give you the option to skip. Look at this, guys. Cannon actually did this. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know which would be the black and the white buttons now. Oh, okay, so it's the L and R trigger. Because nobody wanted to watch a replay. You didn't learn shit from a replay. And let me see. I'll do one more for you guys. I like that kind of like jazzy road rage music. Now, you only get the Mustang, but man, once you unlock that Ford GT. Woo -wee! Let's see here. Oh, y'all ain't ready for this. Your boy about to rock the Camaro. Who? Shout out to whoever has an 01 Camaro still. You got love from me. Where's that? This is the level I was talking about. That's a long level and we're not doing it. Try normal this time. I love how the music was. It seems so like authentic, man. You just I did it again. <laughs> Because this is the only game you hit the A button instead of the right trigger. Alright, I'm going to get down and dirty, y'all, because I'm about to win this. Ooh, y'all getting ridiculous. Oh, uh, y'all know about, nothing about this Camaro? 325 horses behind this B. Actually, it's lightly tuned, so it's 335 horses. No. Oh yeah, move, cause I got the horses under this belt, boy. Move it, boy. What is that, a Lotus Elise? That's top speed is 201 on that mother. Don't ask me like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I know what the top speed on the Lotus Elise is because it's very hard to win with it after, but it was one of my favorite cars ever. 
still is, because I like its sleek design. Ouchies. See, the nice thing about having this Camaro, they can't slow, like, even if I slow down, my top speed is still too much for them. <laughs> and it looks like we're moving at zero, doesn't it? Uh, these good times. I don't know why they, wh wait, I just want to show y'all something here. I just want to show y'all how mean I guess with this Camaro, okay? Y'all, cause y'all ain't ready for me. Let me show y'all how mean your boy get, okay? There's like a cinematic one too. I think this is like the cinematic camera. Yeah, this one right here. This one, you, this made your shit look hot. Like no matter what you're doing driving, You had like, what is it, eight cameras? Oh, you had auto too, look at this. And it gives you facts about the car that you're driving. Ain't that something? For any real car enthusiast, this might not be the coolest game to you. Um, but for anybody like me who just wanted a watered down like, kind of simulation this was perfect let's go to this Lotus Elise because I know this one I still like the Lotus Elise I was racing in I still know people driving this one. But you know, nobody beat out my boy, the Camaro. Look at the Camaro looking slick than a mother. Shout out to all those rocking a Camaro still. Anyway, guys, I want to thank y'all for, uh, you know, watching another one and done. I definitely had a father um, who looked at these games and said, you know what, in about 10 years, 15 years, well, this was when Sonic Adventures was out. He said, you know what, you guys are going to laugh because the graphics are so bad. And I looked at him when I was little and thought he was freaking crazy. And he's right. So thank you guys for enjoying Memory Lane with me on another one and done. I'll see you guys next time.